everyone welcome to my channel today we're gonna discuss about genotype plus genotype by environment interaction analysis backlots using our software more specifically using uh, jge biplots package and in the previous uh, tutorials we tried to see different uh, uh, packages like start genome package like methane package as well as uh, gge biplots gui package so today we'll continue uh, using the uh, JGE by plot. So as usual, you have to uh, load the uh, the JG sorry the GG uh, by plots to uh, your R Studio or R software. It is found in CRAN. Don't need to uh, go to GitHub. So just submit this one by uh, using the function library. Then again, for the for the sake of this, this tutorial, we will use the data name is Ontario, so you can call it that uh, data. And uh, as uh, all of you know that, if you want to check or to view the data name Ontario, so type this one, then submit to our studio, and you'll get a nine different environment starters from BH93 and with WP93. And there are 18 uh, cultivars or uh, genotypes. So, the number or the numerical value that you see in these uh, columns are the mean uh, value of the genotype across different environments. Then, uh, the, then the first one is just to creating the model using the GGE model. Then you have to provide the data immediately in the parentheses. So type this one and submit to our studio. So the first thing that we're going to see is to compare the two genotypes by selecting those genotypes that you want to compare. So in order to do that, you have to use the function compare. Uh, compare genes then you have to indicate the model so our model that we created here is the gge1 which is designated by the uh, jg model ontario so that you have to select the two genotypes so the cas and the luc are the genotypes that we want to compare so type this one and submit to our studio then this graph will be displayed here and again there is a footnotes and there is a, a component one indicated as a principal component one, and 58.9 of observation is failed in the component one, while in the case of 219.15% uh, uh, is failed in, uh, sorry, 19.15% uh, is failed in the uh, principal component two. So there is com the, the, the CAS as well as the LUC are just displayed in this uh, way again it was it also giving you detailed information for example if we add 58.9 uh, plus 20 19.15 uh, so uh, the total accumulation uh, is around what 78.05 which is uh, good and uh, uh, detailed information like a singular uh, value partitioning and the uh, test the test that we are going to, uh, to use is genotype plus genotype by uh, environment interaction with no scaling. So if you just assign to one, so you are just you are using uh, uh, SCD method. So in this, there is no uh, scaling. The second bioplot that we are going to see is just uh, to uh, look for uh, discrimination versus representativeness bioplot. So in order to do that, you have to use the disk REP then immediately uh, put the model that we created uh, before that means GGE1 so type this and submit to our studio then again you will get uh, this uh, attractive uh, biplot then again if you want just to see the relationship between the environment so you have to use inv relationship and again you have to write the GGE1 then again, you'll get uh, uh, such biplots that shows the relationship among environments. And again, if you want to examine the environments, so you have to specify which you, which environment you are going to do. So in this case, I selected the WP93 and the function that help us to examine an environment is examine imp. Then write the model. Then uh, write the environment under quotation. So type this and send it to our studio. Again, you will get uh, this uh, 
pipelet. Then again, uh, you can also examine a genotype, just simply converting examine and instead of im, you have to you have to change into what uh, examine gene. Then which genotype you are you are going to uh, examine. So is it scarce or is it looser? Whatever it is, it depends on your uh, name of genotype. So in this tutorial, I want to do in the CAS. So type this and send me to RStudio. Again, the selected genotype is CAS. So you, you can get uh, such type of uh, uh, biplots. Then again, if you want to um, to display the mean versus the stability, so you have to use mean a stability uh, function then uh, write the model so our model in our case is gge1 so type this and submit to our studio then you can get the mean versus the stability uh, by plot then again if you want to uh, ranking uh, environments by plot so you have to use rank in so rank in means you are telling to R to ranking the environment. So type this and submit to our studio. Then again, you can get the rank of environment that found in our uh, data. Then if you want to ranking of genotype with respect to the ideal genotype, so you have to use the rank uh, gene function, then again, provide the model. So type this and submit to our studio then you can get the genotypes that are uh, with respect to uh, the ideal uh, genotype. Then lastly, if you want to uh, display the uh, which one where, so you have to use the function which uh, one, then submit to RStudio. Yeah, so by this way, you can get the, uh, the uh, which one where, uh, what uh, by plot using the which one function. Furthermore, if you want to customize uh, or if you want to change the appearance of your plot, for example, let's say let us assign here um, a, a which is equal to this one. Then let's clear this one. Then a plus uh, tem uh, classic. Yeah, let's select tem classic. Yeah, I think it is uh, a, a. Yeah, it's a, a. Yeah, so you can get such a beautiful or attractive uh, uh, biplot. But don't forget to call the ggplot uh, function. So this is all about today's tutorial regarding to the uh, genotype plus genotype by environment interaction analysis using the uh, JGE by plots. So uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to provide your valuable suggestion, comment and uh, questions to uh, to my YouTube comment uh, box as well as my email. Have a nice time.